As usual, I begin by sketching the coyote in pencil and then spray it to fix the drawing. I diluted burnt umber with paint thinner and painted over the pencil sketch. I began working on the background of the painting. I used sap green and dioxazine purple mixed with paint thinner to create a shadow for the background bush. I use sap green mixed with cadmium yellow light and a combination of sap green, cadmium yellow light and white for the two highlights on the background bush. I aim to make the background out of focus and quite generic. I felt that at that moment I had failed to capture my intended vision. The background ended up quite generic, lacking the shapes of the bushes or groups of trees, resulting in just a blur effect. I attempted to improve the background for the second time. This time, I painted more slowly and created highlights for the different bushes in the background. I use my fingers to blur the edges of the bushes to give them an out focus appearance. I was much happier with the background because I could see the blur bushes which look more realistic that way. I continue to work on the lower half of the background. I created a grayish background shadow for the grass using a mixture of burnt umber, ultramarine blue, raw sienna, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and white. I added more white to the mixture to create highlights for the grass. I also added straight raw umber to create darker shadows. I used the same mixture mentioned above to paint the rest of the background on the canvas. Using the same technique, I also filled the rest of the canvas with grass. I started working on the coyote, the main focal point of this painting. 
I began underpainting the ears using thin out raw sienna for the outer part and thin out raw umber for the inside. While waiting for the ears to dry a bit, I started working on the nose. I didn't like what I had painted, so I used a tissue to wipe it off and repaint it. In the end, I chose medium gray for the upper nose and highlights below the black nostrils with the rest of the nose also painted black. I did underpainting for the entire face using thin out yellow ochre and raw sienna. I used a small round brush to paint the ears. I used a mixture of raw sienna and white for the outer part of the ears and warm white for the fluffy fur inside the ears. Using the same small round brush, I started working on the forehead and then moved out to the cheek area. This coyote has various fur colors on its face and throughout its body including white, gray and light yellow. First, I use a small round brush to dab in different colors. The colors I use include warm white, raw umber, and a mixture of yellow ochre, raw sienna, and white. I then use a dagger brush to create the fur texture on the forehead. For the eyes, I painted the pupils black. I continue painting the cheeks of the coyote using the same method as for the forehead. I use different colors for the eyes including yellow ochre, raw sienna and cadmium chartreuse. Cadmium chartreuse added a green hue to the eyes making them very intense however Using a pure green would have been too overpowering. I felt that cadmium chartreuse was just perfect for this case. the rest of the face and neck using warm white, raw umber, raw sienna and a mixture of raw sienna, yellow ochre and white. For the neck, in some areas where the grey color is lighter, I mix raw umber and white to make it less intense instead of using straight raw umber.
while working on the legs, it was quite straightforward. I used a mixture of raw sienna, yellow ochre and white along with raw umber and warm white for the areas where the fur caught the light. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. For the tail, which was in shadow, I used straight raw sienna to create a dark orange effect and raw umber for the outer dark fur. For the body, I used a small round brush because it was sideways and the fur wasn't as defined as on the head or face. I aim to create a texture that was not too focused. Similarly, the colors I used on the body were warm white, raw umber, and a mixture of raw sienna, yellow ochre, and white. that the grass in the background didn't complement the coyote so I wanted to change it. I used titanium buff, medium gray, white and yellow ochre to create a slight yellow brightness to make the coyote stand out a little more. I started working on the very bottom of the canvas. Let's take a look at the finished painting. watching.